genetically modified organism or GMO. What is GMO? A living organism whose genetic material has been artificially manipulated in a laboratory through genetic engineering. This creates combination of plant, animal, bacteria, and virus genes that do not occur in nature or through traditional crossbreeding methods. The term GMOs is most commonly used to refer to crop plants created for human or animal consumptions using the latest molecular biology techniques. What foods are genetically modified? Corn. The GM version of field corn protects the crop against corn rootworms and the Asian corn borer like GM field corn. GM sweet corn also protects the crop against destructive pests. Soybeans. The GM soybean plant is resistant to pests and disease as well as being tolerant of herbicides that are most effective, allowing for less herbicide use overall. Cotton GM cotton requires fewer pesticides and protects against the cotton bullworm. Canola Canola has been modified through biotechnology to make it tolerant to some herbicides. This allows for a reduced amount of chemicals needed for weed control. The modified plant also has resistant to pests and fungus. Alfalfa The GM version of alfalfa is tolerant of some herbicides, allowing for the reduced amount of chemicals needed for weed control. Sugar beets The GM sugar beet has increased tolerance to some herbicides, allowing for a reduced amount of chemicals needed for weed control. GM's sugar beet also have virus and pest resistant traits. Papaya The GM version of papaya makes the plant resistant to the prevalent papaya ring spots by virus. Squash GM squash has traits that improve the plant's defense against viruses. Arctic Apple Developed by Okanagan's Specialty Fruits of British Columbia, Canada. This new fruit was developed by turning off the enzyme in apples that caused them to brown with cut, bruised, or beaten. Innate Potato this new potato that resists browning and has fewer unsightly wasteful bruises has been approved by the USDA for commercial planting. Aqua Bounty Salmon This new salmon is genetically engineered to reach market size more quickly than non-GE farm raised Atlantic salmon. It is available to consumers in Canada. The first commercially available genetically modified food was a tomato, engineered to have a longer shelf life. A genetically modified tomato, or transgenic tomato, is a tomato that has had its genes modified using genetic engineering. Advantages of Genetically Modified Foods Insect Resistance some GMO foods have been modified to make them more resistant to insects and other pests. Stronger crops Another benefit that GM technology is believed to bring about is that crops can be engineered to withstand weather, extremes and fluctuations, which means that there will be good quality and sufficient yields even under a poor server weather condition. Larger production. It has been easier to raise crops that are classified as genetically modified because all of their examples have the stronger ability to resist pests. Environmental protection. 
This means the general health and duty of the environment that surrounds farms will improve, contributing to the preservation of better water and air quality, which can also indirectly benefit every person's well-being. Extensive Protection for Crops GM foods were created with the use of genetic engineering, a technology that was designed to make sure crops will never be damaged in fast rate. More nutritious foods. This not only helps people get the nutrients they need, but also plays significant role in fighting against malnutrition in third world countries. Decrease use of pesticides. It has been proven that genetically modified crops do not need pesticides to become stronger against various types of insects or pests that may destroy them. More income With genetic engineering, farmers will have more income, which they could spend on important things, such as the education of their children, for example. Less deforestation to sufficiently feed the growing population of the world, deforestation is needed. But with genetically modified animals and crops, the use of this method will be minimized. Decrease in global warming As more plants and crops can be grown and at more areas, including those that were previously unsuitable for farming, oxygen in the environment is, is increased. Decreasing the proportion of carbon dioxide and, in turn, reducing global warming. Decrease in food prices. Due to higher yields and lower cost, food prices would go down. As people in poorer countries and spend over half of their income on food alone, this means automatic reduction of poverty. New Products New kinds of products are being developed to be grown at extreme climates, such as those present in dry or freezing environments. Disadvantages of genetically modified foods Allergic reactions It states that genetic modification often adds or mixes proteins that were not indigenous to the original animal or plant, which might cause new allergic reactions in our body. Not 100% environmentally friendly, though it is claimed by many experts that genetically modified foods are safe for the environment, they actually still contain several kinds of substances that are not yet proven to be such. Lower level of biodiversity One big potential drawback of this technology is that some organisms in the ecosystem could be harmed, which in turn could lead to a lower level of biodiversity. Decrease antibiotic efficacy According to the Loa State University, some genetically modified foods have antibiotic features that are built into them, making them resistant or immune to viruses or disease or viruses. Unusual taste. Genetically modified foods are observed to have a natural taste compared with the ordinary foods that are sold on the market. This could be the result of the substances that were added to their composition. Not totally safe to eat. It is proven by scientific studies that GMO foods contain substances that may cause disease and even death to several kinds of species in this world, including us humans. Cross-pollination Cross-pollination can cover quite large distances where new genes can be included in the offspring of organic traditional plants or crops that are miles away. Gene spiling. It is unclear what effects, if there are any, 
the genetic pollution resulting for inadequate sequestering of genetically modified crop populations would have on the wild varieties surrounding them. Gene transfer Experts warn that genes from commercial crops that are resistant to herbicides may cross into the wild weed population, thus creating super weeds that have become impossible to kill. Conflicts GMO foods can cause a lot of issues in the merchant's daily life. These products might encourage authorities to implement higher tariffs to merchants who would be selling them. Exploitations Some countries may use genetic engineering of foods as a very powerful weapon against their enemies. It is important to note that some scientists have discovered that these products can kill a lot of individuals in the world by using harmful diseases. Widening gap of corporate sizes This disadvantage can possibly happen between food producing giants and their smaller counterparts causing a consolidation in the market. New diseases As previously mentioned, genetically modified foods can create new diseases considering that they are modified using viruses and bacteria there is a fear that this will certainly happen food supply at risk gmo seeds are patented products and in order to purchase them customer have to sign certain agreements for use with the supplier or creator as the reliance on these seeds expands around the world. Concerns about food supply and safety also continue to arise. Economic concerns Bringing a genetically modified food to market can be a costly and lengthy process and of course, agricultural biotechnology companies want to ensure a profitable ROI. Importance of GMO It is an important tool in research that allows the functions of specific genes to be studied. Drugs, vaccines, and other products have been harvested from organisms engineered to produce them. Crops have been developed that aid food security by increasing yield, nutritional value, and tolerance to environmental stresses. Learnings in GMO A study shows that choosing to farm either non-GM or GM crops doesn't make much difference when it comes to a sustainability. And in both aspects, biodiversity and productivity, GM agriculture has been performing better than non-GM crops for the last 20 years.